every day to cover it. Pretty interesting, right? Joining me now from Washington to talk about this ongoing crisis and what we can do about it as a country, Virginia Congressman Frank Wolf. Congressman, thank you very much for joining me in the Diamond District. Sure. Um, I looked at Good the website, you. thank you, defeatthedebt.com, where I found that video and uh, some of the advertisements that the group took out. You're very much involved in this. You're very much concerned. What is the solution then? Well, we have the solution. There's a group of us in Congress, Republicans and Democrats. We have a bill in that sets up a bipartisan national commission. They take one year. We put everything on the table, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, every spending program and tax policy. And at the end of that, that proposal is sent up to Congress, and the Congress has to vote on it up or down. Right now, the Ways and Means Committee is doing nothing. The Budget Committee is doing nothing. There, there's nothing going on up here, and yet, if you look at the unfunded mandates, $11 trillion of debt, you look at that ad, we owe money to China, China that has Catholic bishops in jail. We owe money to Saudi Arabia, the fund of the madrasas up along the Afghan-Pakistan border. So right. this solves the problem. This yeah, solves that. the problem, but we're having a hard time. The administration's not for it. The leadership in Congress is not for it, but there are 75 wow. members here in the House that are co-sponsors, and in the Senate, Senator Conrad, Senator Jet, Judd Gregg, and Senator Lieberman. Congressman, you covered a lot of points. Let me jump in there. Um, yeah, some tough decisions have to be made. We talk about it on this show all the time. Uh, when they're trying to do health care reform right now, it comes up spending more money. Let's not get into the old debate whether it will or won't. But you got to cut Medicare. You're gonna. Some people are going to have to take hits. You're gonna, People are frustrated that Congress keeps on spending. You guys need to stop spending and well, that's pull back that's on what, a that, lot of these programs. You what, have to make some tough decisions. That's what this that's that's what this bill says. And quite frankly, this bill resolves the issue. It puts every spending program on the table and requires the Congress to do just what you said to make the tough decisions to vote on it up or down. It's like the base closing commission. You can never close a base until we have the base closing commission. That's it does precisely what you're saying. And we need the support of the media. The American people are frustrated. We're mortgaging our children's future. We're mortgaging right. our grandchildren's future. Okay, so this how, bill, how do people get involved then? I mean, if you're saying just it's call their congressman. Bipartisan, so we take that out of the equation. That solves a lot of problems. You've got Democrats on board as well. How do we get this moving? Oh, the Obama administration has got to come out for it. And lastly, the leadership here in Congress on both sides of the aisle have to put this bill up for a vote. We have offered it in committee. One time we had 31 to 32. We lost by one vote. Wow. Two of the people who were co-sponsors voted against it. But we're going to keep pushing it. But the more the media covers this, the American people are, one, angry. The American people are frightened. And the country is broke. We can't continue to live this way. Okay, Congressman Frank Wolf of Virginia, we're going to do our part here on Happy Hour. You guys do your part, and don't be beholden to all the lobbyists, because no one wants to uh, to give in to them. Thank you for very much well, for joining me. Well, that's what this bill. Thank you. Okay, thank you. For joining me. I'll Goodbye. have you back. We'll have you back here. Thanks for joining me okay. in the Diamond District. On tap, folks, some breaking news on Charles Schwab and the SEC.